So this is a tutorial on creating bee patchers. Um, I'm trying to take uh, things like this where um, it's just all the junk that's involved within the template and clean it up so that it, it looks nice like this. And um, this here is considered a bee patcher. I can really quickly just make copies of it and I can select them all and move them around very quickly and it's very responsive versus grabbing one of these and moving that around uh, it takes a while so to go about it I have to um, let's see let's grab this uh, this section right here and we have to consider all of the inlets and outlets that uh, other patches will um, want to use to affect it uh, but still getting sort of the guts involved so what I've done is I've just copied and I've created a new patch new patcher and just pasted it <clears throat> um, so there was a, a toggle in here that connected to the control enable I've gotten rid of that and so here is just everything um, I've created inlets, which was just a matter of creating new and then inlet. Uh, when it's not within a sub patch, which would just be creating a sub patch um, or what could be poop, uh, where it'll allow you to do inlet and it'll say one, uh, it'll create these eyes for inlets and outlets. And this will give it the indication that you want to create a uh, a bee patcher. Um, so, when you have this set up, uh, then you'll want to um, maybe uh, name the inlets. So you can do that within the inspector. Go to comment and just go here, and that way, when you hover over top of the bee patcher, it'll show up as like some words giving you an indication of what the inlet should be. Uh, and then we want to add these to presentation mode so I'm going to go here and just add everything to presentation mode and then when we go into presentation mode we can see everything that's involved and I'm going to take a second to clean it up and I'll be back in a second okay so at this point I've organized it and what I've also done is created a panel and uh, pasted that within the presentation and I'm going to right click it and send it to the back and then uh, just put it into the back of the presentation mode. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, so that's good. Um, now we want to save it. And so if you go to File, Save As. So my entire project is being saved within We MIDI C, and uh, I've just made a folder here that is called Abstractions just to keep things a little bit more organized. But um, but I'm gonna go ahead and name this. Um, this one is called Robust uh, Note Control Template, and then I'll save it here. So once that's done, um, I can go into my original uh, patch, which is the the Wii. To, and I don't know the thing isn't coming up right now, but um, the original patch, and we can create a new patcher, uh, which is called a B patcher, and this is an important part. So B patcher, and then at name and we'll just call out the name of robust note control template now you also notice that I haven't put any spaces within uh, between the words it's very important that you don't have any spaces you can use underscores to represent spaces but do not have spaces within your file name because it will uh, cause problems when it's trying to link up to the uh, other patches 
So when I've done that, it should automatically just connect right up to it, and it'll create this uh, um, non-presentation mode looking patch. So we need to go back into our original patch, and this is the same for any sort of edit that we want to make to these patches. We can add more inlets, we can um, delete things, we can add more code, and it'll update everything, uh, which is very nice. So let's go to um, the inspector. So we're within the the um, the B patcher, and because we did add those inlets these inlets it knows it's it wants to be a B patcher so we go we're just clicking off and up here at the top there's this diamond looking hide patcher inspector show patcher inspector we want to go inside that and um, find the presentation part open and presentation and so we'll do that that's good and we'll save when we do that it'll automatically update our uh, original large patch and so I'm just going to resize it and there we go um, it's this patch up here except it's uh, I can copy it really easily and I can move it which um, if you knew how long it took to like just highlight this stuff and move it around over here uh, it would make a huge difference to you so I uh, hope that's helpful and I'll see you later